Today, we're taking a look at the Estes Park real estate market stats for April 2022. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Jeff Abel with the Abel team here in beautiful Estes Park, Colorado. And today we're going to be looking at a few key real estate market statistics from April of 2022. As always, we'll be looking at both our single family home stats as well as our attached dwelling stats. And these are our condos and our townhomes. The first category we're going to look at is single family homes in the 80517 zip code. We had 12 homes close in April, and this is down 33% from the 18 we had in April of 2021. Our new listings were at 18 for April, which is down from 34 in April of last year, a 47% decrease. Days on market until sale was at 72, up 50% from 48 last April. And our median sale price last month was 922,500, up 23% from April of last year's median price of 797,500. Finally, months of inventory was at 0.7 months, down 12.5% from April's 0.8 months last year. Next, we're gonna look at the attached dwelling statistics for April. And again, these are our condos and townhomes. In April, we had 12 closed sales, and that was the same amount as last year. There were also 16 new listings last month, which is up 60% from the 10 last April. And days on market until sale for attached dwellings was at 69, which was an increase of 50% from last April's average of 46. The median sale price last month was 469,000, which is a 24% increase over last April's median sale price of 377,000. And finally, we had 0.5 months of inventory for condos and townhomes in April, which was the same as last year. We continue to have extremely low inventory in Estes Park and the surrounding communities as we move into spring. However, we are starting to see days on market increase as interest rates continue to climb, especially as sellers are pressing the market and pricing a little bit too high. What that means for buyers is that we're in a great window of opportunity. Interest rates are still relatively low compared to where they have been historically. And right now you can submit an offer and you'll most likely not be competing with 10 to 15 other offers. For sellers, you have a great opportunity as well, but you have to price your home correctly. And that requires a realtor who knows the market and can provide a strategy to price your home so that you get the most interest and maximize your proceeds from the sale. If you price too high, it will sit with no offers, but if you price it just right, you can still get multiple offers at or above asking price. If you do have any questions about the market here in Estes Park or the surrounding areas, please don't hesitate to ask. You can leave a comment below. You can shoot us a message on social media, or you could give us a call at 970-586. 8,500. And if you found this video to be helpful, we always appreciate it when you click the like button and that bell, and then hit subscribe. That will notify you when our new video comes out next week. And it also helps get our videos in front of more people using that good old YouTube algorithm. If you're interested in an email market report that goes into more details about each property that lists, goes under contract and closes, we can set those up for your specific neighborhood or for an entire zip code. Just check the description below on info how to sign up and we'll get that delivered to your inbox each month. Finally, check out these other videos we think will be helpful if you're thinking about selling in 2022. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.